When we last left our heroes, we saw Gage very unfairly get domed by Alex's dumb bullshit dog shit version of hero. It was not good, but it has staved off the three win streak and will prevent Gage from seeing the uh, judgment circle. So maybe it was a tactical loss. I don't know what he's playing this week. I literally have no idea. I did not check his stream. So we'll see. Let's throw up the memes tweet and get it going. I know, shut up! I know that you're like, you can't fool me. On progression series season two. Lamo, my ring of destruction. Forget yeah, it. easy as it gets what? for you. All right. Oh, bro, I felt like an easy so Gage took a Damn. one. Simo no, still beat him with yeah, a hero deck. All right. oh, bro, a like worse easy. hero deck. Damn, that was a like close. That was a really good one. That was a nail what is it? It's a zero attack. Will Gage be able to pilot his deck out of the loser circle? Who knows? Four booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. Huh? What the fuck? Build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. What? We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, no, in kidding. each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of the episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want, guys, it's what? You? The fuck is this? I out on the opportunity to pick up your season one progression series playmat. Then do I have some good news for you? This week only, to celebrate Thanksgiving and Black Friday, the season one progression series playmat is on sale right now. Again, for this week only. This Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I gotta get me one of these. Wait, there's a fucking thousand of them. All right, I I got time. This is the only time it will be discounted. There's a few hundred of these left, and there will not be another print run. So this is the best opportunity for you to pick up this map <laughs> if you fuck? have it already. Thank you all so much for the 524 for the of these. Years. Happy Jesus Thanksgiving Christ. to you and yours, and I hope you enjoy today's episode. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. I'm about to buy all 524. You better not. Also, no, you're not. Please don't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a particularly exciting Yo, well, episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series 2 because... Simo has won two episodes in a row with a deck made by monsters. Crimson Little Crisis gremlin is fuckers. If you know anything about that or the history of the show, you know that this is the set that introduces Black Wings. But we'll get to that more in a moment. <sighs> first, we do our wheel for winning previous episode. And man, if you didn't think that was exciting enough, I mean, the wheel is already going to just set the tone for the rest of this episode. So let's see what we get. Uh, okay, uh, hopefully this doesn't set the tone for the rest of the episode because a rare wild Thank card out of Lord. Duelist Pack, you say, I don't even think there's anything that we want to All right, so the here's the set. problem. Simo's got nine redoer tickets. He can find whatever he wants. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It would have been nice if we got the super rare slot because at least we could have nabbed ourselves another copy of Stardust Dragon since we only pulled one, but it is what it is. I'm pretty sure I have three of all of these or at least yeah, all the ones that are, matter, so I, I guess I will take another Junk Warrior and probably never play it since it's like my ninth copy. But let's throw it over to Gage so he can tell you all about today's episode, Crimson Crisis. The last few weeks of the progression series, number yeah, two have It's only $15,000 to buy every one of them manageable. Whoa! You got to save that money for the master roulette <laughs> uh, official mat. Extremely back and forth. What would we even put on the We're master roulette official mat? Just a picture of me banning. beating Doug's fucking that ass. I have a feeling that Alex will surely not see coming, but today let's talk about Whoa, he said Nazi? Free trip to the banning, but I'm not looking to make that happen. I have an idea put together that Alex will surely not see coming, but today let's uh, talk about Crimson Crisis released Nazi March 3rd, coming. 2009. Crimson Crisis is another big booster set deeper into the 5e era. Lots of really really good high quality monsters in this set that we're going to be wanting to keep an eye out. The secret rares are nothing too special. You've got Ido which has come up like occasionally in branded decks recently and through some weird gimmicky stuff throughout time. Tethys is kind of in the same vein you guys ever see with Tethys draw type decks. All these secret rares are all nothing too special. But you look at all the other cards in different rarities, and that's where the set starts to shine. Super rares, we have the extremely powerful Dark Strike Fighter, responsible for... Okay, so here's here's a weird thing that we never talked about. Um, DSF is in this set. Never came up in original progression series, but we could very easily build a DSF deck with a 100% FTK rate. 
many FTKs. If we do pull the fighter today, we'll be playing it before its recent errata, so the card's actually insane. Be nice to pick one of those Salvo's cards. great. Salvo's a great card. I hope that he doesn't uh, skip over it. It's air. really Black good. Salvo is also an extremely powerful Thank card you. when you pair with the Koichi. Unfortunately, Thank I don't have you, any Koichis in my deck, so we won't be able to make any free level 7s with Black Salvo. Onto the rares, there are so many bangers. Debris Dragon is incredible. Black Debris, Wind, Gale. Whirlwind is one of the best I mean, we'll play, we'll play Gale Dragon and whatever we pull. Crazy if we had, you know, best Yari. But we don't. Even Hyper Synchron is a pretty good level 4 tuner. There's a lot to offer in the rare slot for Crimson Crisis. I definitely want to get a couple copies of Gale, though. The card is just that powerful. Being able to stack up near uh, Stardust Dragon, uh, just having it and being able to attack over it. Just extremely powerful card back in the day. The Ultra Rares, I'm only looking for one guy there. Black Wing Armor Master pairs perfectly mm. with Gale the Whirlwind. Just being able to have a Armor Master is kind of mid, to be honest. Seven, I think it can topple over He's okay. Battle, pretty much. He's, He's great in limited. That. But anyways, Black Wing, he, he, he demands a very specific kind of removal. Commons, obviously, this is the debut of Black Wing, man, the bane of my existence last season. Keep your eyes out on Here these. We'll definitely be seeing them later, but we don't get cards. Yeah, we're going to we'll have to try and pull as many Black Wings as possible. I will note... Morphtronic slinging in this episode makes Morphtronic a force to be reckoned with, as does map. We could play like map, web, slinging, but you know, it, it's still kind of a pipe dream. Psychic sword, important. We're going to try and keep an eye out for that as well because that could. We could play the Lyralisk deck. Well, that's my favorite field spell. a lot of things in this set. Like Dark Strike Fighter would be crazy. Gale the Whirlwind, I'd want one of those guaranteed. We could build a lot of nasty stuff with this set today. First things first, though, we are in the loser circle. We've got three packs of Champion Pack 8 to open. Again, Nothing good in Champion Pack 8. I'm really just hoping for like a Monarch or something. But the Mushroom Man is that the Mushroom Man? Yeah, I mean, this is is that the Royal Oppression? Is that what the three cell explosion virus? I've never seen that card. It's a virus. Crisis. Let's see what we get. Hopefully a couple gales. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 24 packs, Crimson Crisis. Let's do it. I will say I have like seven redoer tickets, I believe, because I've been saving them up throughout yes, the series. Yes. This may be a set that I want to burn one, depending on how good the Black Wing pulls look. Let's hold up pack number one, see if we get anything worth Debris discussing. Good. Dragon's not a terrible one. Debris I think Gage good. had this in season one, and maybe I didn't, but his favorite field spell, Verdant Sanctuary, is making an appearance. So the nice thing about Soroka We're all making as well fun of them. as Bora is that they're both commons. Gale is a rare. Yeah, so notably, while Black Wing's debut in this set, it's not everything you want. I think it's Shura Bora Soroko, or it might be Shura Soroko Gale. Like, it's not until next set that it really takes off. It's annoying, and then also we have cards like Armor Master as well that we need to look out for. But once Soroko down, happy to see it. There's our first super rare in Turret Warrior. Man, the throwbacks to sealed showdown are real. This card was actually a force in that episode. Gale, but, uh, Soroko, Bora. Oh, so no Shura. We haven't really okay, I see. Else. Okay, here's the type of pack I want to see. There's no Kalut, there's no Again, Blizzard, and there's no Armor Shura. Here to some degree, but at least we're getting the good commons. Another super rare in Alien Kid, not the hollows we're looking for. We still need the rest of those commons. This card is like uh, randomly a bunch of money. Look, it's $10. $10, Alien Kid. Why? Crimson Crisis. Flip them up, a Salt Beast, and a super rare Turret Warrior right off the bat. Turret Warrior is nothing too special, man. I'd rather just play the Tricky. Mm. <laughs> I'd honestly just rather play the Tricky. Oh, second pack in Arcanite. Arcanite's big. Do we have any Summoner Monk? Gale, that's the perfect tuner. Uh, honestly, any level 4 Spellcaster monster will do the trick. Cards like Summoner Monk is an obviously yeah. shit. Like Arcanite Magician. This guy is just like targeted. Correct. With, like, pretty good, man. I like it. Ooh. <laughs> Aliens go crazy in Edison, probably. No. It's him! Doom Kaiser Dragon, Assault Mode. I will never summon this thing. Ever, bro. I don't even like the artwork of him. Like no, the OG, talk about the next one. Kind of his penis is out and everything. Uh, Gale the Whirlwind. He's pulling his cock out. Because it does get limited in due time. But I definitely wanted to grab my one. There's the one, pack number five. It's been good so good, far. Good, Another good. super rare, Armoroid. I, I remember this seeing this card's like, nothing. Impacts, it's nothing. I think it's good. Tribute a Roid monster. Banish all spells and traps. I mean, it's not terrible if we were playing Roids, but we don't have any sort of a Roid deck to build. Whatever. Okay, uh, that is an ultimate rare, although it is an ultimate rare we are probably never going to summon. Hyper Psychic Fucker Assault Mode. I think it's pretty sad when I'm more excited about the common Bora than the ultimate rare. Totem Dragon's not a bad one. I'm not really sure we can build any sort of like disaster dragon type deck because I'm pretty Probably sure we're not, missing a no. lot of the cards to be able to build that but nice little throwback well that's I a guess high rarity we deck to summon the well I mean there, there blaster, he is we just pulled ourselves the original hyper psychic blaster there's no shot ammonite fox right, so yeah ammonite specifically is quite good Soroko and Bora but we still haven't pulled a gale and that's a rare I think we pulled like six oh alien my god ammonites and like six of the shining silver force cards gale, so hopefully nice. we can turn that around here in the last few another super rare I guess we're about on rate for getting hollows in this set twilight rose knight again not a particularly strong card and uh we only got about five ish packs left to go still don't have a gale and even though we pulled our commons of Soroko and Bora if we don't have gale this is going to be really rough. Alright you guys, only a few packs left, and uh, like I said, we've gotten the commons that we're looking for, but we have not pulled a Gale, nor did we pull an Armor Master, which I guess we didn't have Armor Master in Season 1, so it wasn't the end of the world. I think that's like my seventh copy of Arcane Apprentice, so really don't appreciate that. Let's see what we get in our second to last pack here, as soon as it decides to load. Planet Pollutant Virus got blown out by that in, I believe, History of Jank. Oh Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Or sealed showdown, or both probably. Last pack. Can we now have a gale at the least? And no, of course we get the yeah. We're running that one back. Skyfire, the MBT special. So now we have like three Soroka, yeah. three Bora again. But obviously it's not guaranteed, which is what frightens me. I think I only pulled three Bora. I think I have like five Sorokos. But I'm nervous because yeah, we gotta Gale, this. the Blackwing strategy loses a lot of its luster because Gale is a tuner. Gale is a nice. Uh, no, you need, you need Gale. You need Gale. I'm gonna have to think about wrong. this. So I'm checking on Gale's printings. I can do without Armor Master. Plus it's an Ultra, so I'm not like expecting to pull it. But Gale gets printed in Crimson Crisis, and then it does
3, which I guess isn't too far off because we're at the beginning of 2009. It's a year and a half. 2010. Problem is, Gold Series 3, it's a gold rare, so that's not even guaranteed to like be a pull there. I think we're most likely guaranteed to get it in Duelist Pack Crow because it's a rare, and we pull 30 packs of Duelist Packs, but that's not until 2011. So that would be two years of the timeline in Progression Series. Yeah, no, we, we got to run it back. Almost guaranteed. So having it for this first, you know, several like 10, 20 episodes before this, I think it's going to be a huge advantage. So I'm actually going to go ahead and respin this, and we're going to do another 24 packs. I mean, you've got seven. Hyper Psychic Blaster. Again, this is a wow, you got it too. so unbelievably cool, but it is something that I don't think we'll get the opportunity to play. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner psychic monsters is a little bit actually restricted considering there's not a lot of psychics in the game to be able to work with. It's not even that good. It's not even that good. It is one of the earliest All right, time games. for me to point out something about uh, Gage's setup that I noticed when I was there. Ugh, fuck, now it's fucked up. Okay, you can see like here, right? You can see his screen. He has shelves of Funko Pops. He is a Funko Pop American. Synchros, That's about all it's got going for it. Debris Dragon. I was looking for at least one copy of this bad boy here. Debris. That's awesome. Perfect to pair with Lone Fire Blossom, which we're going to have two of this time Didn't around. Didn't we start with Debris? Series. Could come in handy. I think there's a lot we can do with Debris Dragon. Wow. That's, a, that's an alien pack right there. Ammonite and Kid. Ammonite is extremely like <laughs> important because it's used to make the Golgari Synchro, which we didn't get yet, so I think that'd be the only thing piecing this alien deck together. But Kid is also extremely good, too. Again, if we could pull Golgari, we could actually build like aliens. But unless we get him, it's not even something we Golgari. can do. Golgari. It's possible. It's possible. Wow, dude, I gotta get the Golgari now with the code. Golgari. Don't tell Thinking me. about I magic, buddy. Aliens. All right, 24 more packs. Let's see if I regret it. First pack, nothing too great. The only way that this gets conceivably worse is if I don't pull play sets of the common black wings, which is possible. But again, I think it's highly unlikely to happen. And again, as long as I see a Gale, I'll be extraordinarily happy. Oh, you know what? That's not a bad super Salvo's rare. Salvo's interesting. Salvo. This one's actually playable, although it does require a bit of building around for, but this is not a bad card at all. Well, we nabbed an Ultra, but again, it's not the Ultra we want. Life Force Harmonizer. Holy shit. I've this literally is never card. seen this card. Uh, Could have been Armor Master, but yeah, it is what it is. Interesting to note, I think this is my second Debris Dragon, if this is ever relevant. I mean, that's cool at all, but again, I wish I'd have if two this copies is ever relevant. Of being honest. I think we're good on Sorokos. I think I still need one or two more Boras. Okay, Dark Strike Fighter in the Super... Uh-oh. Super rare slot. It's that not Gale, but you know what? Dark Strike Fighter is not bad either. Remember, we do play with pre errata cards until they get errated later. And this card is incredibly annoying because this is like a Gaga Ga Cowboy for our series. I'll definitely take that. I this will is say not like a Gaga Ga Ga Cowboy. This is not like a Gaga Ga Ga Cowboy at all. We haven't seen Gale yet. We have about 10 packs to go, but I think our super rare luck, we definitely traded up for sure. If we can get the commons, even if we don't get Gale, I feel like this was still worth using the redoer ticket. What's so frustrating is that I'm seeing cards like Assault Beast in multiples. I think this is like my third copy of this card. And while that's like cool and all, if this was three Gales, oh my God, that would have been infinitely better. All right, coming up on the very last two packs of Crimson Crisis. Can we get anything in the big? Verdant Sanctuary, say less, say less. The opening could not be better, let me tell you. All right, last one. If I get the Golgari, I'll play the aliens. I will, I will play the alien list that and I will put it wrong. together. Any luck? No, but there's an alien. Alien overlord. mother. I can't actually complain. I got everything I wanted from Crimson Crisis, right? Yeah, this I got is Arden every... Magician, which is a great. Yeah, we we we, we Gale Gale obviously Gale, which don't was a mandatory pull I needed this time around. And honestly, I got the Breed Dragon, which was the other rare I was looking for. We also I got Dark Strike Fighter. Stuff like Armor Master, but I'm okay with that. I got everything that I wanted in the rare slot for this time around, which is sometimes all you can ask for. I'm not gonna spend a redoer ticket. I'm gonna save this to the collection. Let's get building. Let's see what's true. up. Oh, we got Gale. Thank okay. God. Okay, <laughs> pack twenty. I guess this is actually technically pack forty-four because we had to respin. But thank you. All right, this was forty-four packs to get Gale the world. This is me with substitute and hard like series. next few packs, I'd be very happy about that. The Sorokos are definitely unlocked. We got the Dark Strike Fighter and the Black Sabre <sighs> as well. Infinitely better Crimson Crisis opening. You know what? We'll take it. Dimension Fortress Weapon. This card is awful, but it's that very card's funny. crazy back, against Armoroid, here. This card is awful, though. Only a couple packs left. So let's see if we get here into the mm. close. I think we've got basically everything we were looking for. That's our last Bora. Fantastic. I was really getting nervous because wow. only two Bora is actually yeah. sort of a big deal. We'll so he pulled bank, everything. See it. Last pack. Anything good in the close here? An I will additional take. I Gale, Master, maybe. That would be the best Crimson Crisis opening imaginable. No. Uh, we, we did get something. We just got the fucking Ghost Rare. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Never playing that. But I guess I have a way to end this opening. Another Bora in case we needed it. I'm pretty sure we're good on the play set. We got everything like we could really want. Uh, almost and more. Uh, I would say and more. It's so weird to see really main deck cards that are ghosts. Yeah, I really just think ghosts should I'll be uh What the f Oh my god. So much going on here, I I I I I I can't really describe it. Um So this is um really well built, actually. I think that the one card I really don't like is Good Goblin Housekeeping. That was wrong. I think GGH should probably be threatening Roar. But otherwise, I really like this. 
who wanted to play unfair Yu-Gi-Oh recently with his final countdown deck. We've been bringing a whole bunch of fair decks to the table to play some good Yu-Gi-Oh, but this time I'm feeling a little bit nasty. Today we're going to be playing our own variant of Chainburn, starring Fiber Jar to be able to reset the game and give us back our most powerful trap cards. GGH is definitely copium. Immediately followed up by GGH with painful. Okay. I get it. Yep, I get it. You send GGH, 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 Pot of Greed. Uh, that's four. And then, I don't know, Fiber Jar. You say go. That's insane. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, there, wow. There's a few of the goat burn spells that we're missing, like Justice Arts and stuff. <laughs> but with three copies of Secret Barrel, three copies of Reckless Greed to be able to use, I feel like we have something pretty interesting here. Also, Fiber Jar, remember this card is 100% forbidden at this point, and it's never been flipped in the progression series. I have a hard time believing... I wish I was dead. I tested Threatening Roar, and it only blocks about 1,400 damage. Is this is this your doing? I wish I was dead. Is this your doing? Able to see this coming, and it might be able to reset a game and allow us to win through some burn cards. Good Goblin Housekeeping looks like a shitty card in here, but when you... Redux says, I tested with I wish I was dead, and in testing, in... That pile, I had to give him pot. Hard, like painful choice being able to dump them from your deck to the graveyard and then just flip one for a plus three seems pretty strong. We got a little floater package so to a tomatoes into Nidorias and Sangins to be able to search out the best parts of the deck being jars. Tomato into Nidoria also out something weird like this Jinzo is your masterwork. This, 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 this is this is this is a heinous ass like. deck. Uh, Arcana Force the this is a deck for like John Fuckler, the inventor of not having fun in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know who would play this shit? Gavin. That's if I just raw summon it. Nova Summoner gets the full effect. The gifty do I wish I was dead for sure. For sure. Doesn't get destroyed by battle. Keeps us alive for a few turns to hopefully get us to some more valuable burn cards. This is. We got a little scientist. Package here in the I know, I know we're going to get the meme that's like flirting and it's Gage showing off this deck, harassment and it's Simo showing off this deck. Scientist utility at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh. Alex has Thousand Eyes Restrict, which is really, really good. It also makes Magical Scientist some removal. On our side, we just have a whole bunch of guys that we can summon off of it. Dark Bolter can negate normal spells. Ryu Senshi can negate traps. And then this guy can uh, banish cards from the graveyard. Scientist is going to allow us to hopefully pull out some damage if we can just summon it and contest the board that Alex has put out. Um, yep. I don't see a lot of utility in Scientist, but this I is what I was recommended to put in the list. So <laughs> I love, he's like, I don't know why we're playing Scientist, but someone said that we had to play it. I'm like, listen, here's what happened. He was building it and he was like taking cards out, and I wish I was dead was in chat and was like, do not take out Scientist. What is wrong with we'll you? As you can see, we don't have any Crimson Crisis cards in this deck, but that's okay. We'll revisit it next week. I think there's a lot to offer with Raging Battle, especially to pair with all the black wings that we got this episode. I also think if I want to throw Alex off his game, this is the deck that's going to do it. Oh, yes, it is. Play some of the most powerful tutors of all time, like Gale. Chat this says that is idea, exactly though. what happened. what he's doing today. So I think there's only one last opportunity to try. <laughs> what the fuck is a DDT? Oh, cool. Card of Safe Return in DDT? Yeah, what this deck has a problem with is draw not drawing enough when a card returns from the graveyard to the field. Try this deck out because I think in the next set or the one... Why is he playing Death Wombat in the sideboard? Why is he playing Death Wombat in the sideboard? After, there's a new ban list okay, uh, main deck Jinzo horrifying, Death exactly Wombat same, horrifying, everything else is fine. Fun stuff I want to try out here, so let's go ahead and see what happens. So this is what I'm calling Dark Synchro, if you will. So Dark I have the Synchro. Best synchro pool we're missing stuff like oh, chat being like, where's Diamond Dude? Oh, you all know the important no, part of fine. DDT is the fucking <laughs> disc commander. Honestly, I really Anon find Kaiju, it. thank you for the dollar. Uh, unfortunately, I can't read it because uh, this terrible fucking platform isn't working. Fuck. I, here, I may have a way to read it. Give me a sec. I do not have a way to read it. Chain, but you I apologize. But in any case, uh, we're just playing like a good stuff dark deck that just has access to a lot you of can, stuff. You can charge here, back if you cards. like. So black Salvo, oh, you know what? Hold up. In the form of we have two of them I think I actually do know a way to do it. Black Rose the field or going to Dark Strike Fighter. Sangan can search this Black Salvo, get this back, and we go into one of our sevens, and we may just win the game off of that. Then we have Gale, which is one of the best tuners in existence. Also, level three tuner, very important because this allows us to access our sevens through our fours that are already on the field. I'm looking. I think, yes. Then we have the Breaker. Card Trooper isn't a dog, but it gets stuff into the graveyard that we want there, so it's good. Anon Kaiju, thank you for the dollar. The Gage's deck feels like a deck of someone who said Kaiser Coliseum is good stuff. True. Oh, we did it. Yeah, that's what I did, Danny. Yeah. Then for the spells, we have Brain Control, Dark Hole, Fisher, Giant Trunade, Harpy's Feather, Duster, one Instant Fusion. I threw one of these in here. It isn't three, but I don't want to go too crazy with this. This plus any tuner means we can access anything in our synchro pool, essentially, except the eights, because this isn't like Magical Scientist where I can shit out a six with this. It's just a five, so it can make yeah. anything for us, essentially, which is... Okay, we get it. It's fucking all the good dark monsters the well. so we effectively have eight in a deck that aims effect, to do stupid shit with uh, Disc Commander. We've, we've seen this. Ridiculous. And I don't know if it's good, but I it reverse. So both of something like Sengen or even Black Salvo because it's less than a thousand. Perfectly fine because even if we're so full, our plays to allow us four in Dark Fire Dragon for sinking. And of course, we have the thousand ice for interruption as well. And then the synchros, we have an armory arm, a black rose, a so 
that matter. If he decides to double back on that strategy again, then this is a way to at least not lose to the burn like Stealth Bird because then he has to at least clear Wombat first. He's and playing we Wombat for Stealth, stealth Bird. Oh, no. Dust just for more back removal. This came in very handy, actually. Last oh, time, double God, just no. Really stack. If I need to have just more monster removal and like swap out some of these graceful revivals and limit reverses, I can just bring in more removal with this, and I think that's perfectly fine. So this will be a fun episode. I can't wait to see how much crazy synchro oh, action that we're going to have. And, you know, knowing this deck, probably not a ton, but we'll see. Anything's possible. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. All right, nine O gauge, ten O gauge. Why is Dark Strike Fighter? Well, gauge, you are on the verge of a banning, as it seems. Very funny how a reversal of fourteen. Yeah, you're going to be on the verge of I was at risk getting of the banned. Pain. I somehow managed to slip out of it. Sixty-nine so, yeah, to zero gauge. These have been some of the best back and forth matches we've had so far. The, the they have. These have been like extremely back and forth, man. I'm really stoked. I I'm lied. To get the free ban, I don't need it, but I'm telling you, I'm looking to crush you today. We'll see how it goes, and I'll shout the patron. Can you Dylan do all Kramer. subs Thank and donos after Prog? I will. This is going to set the tone for the rest of five E's because we're entering Blackwing territory, my friend. And hopefully, that doesn't set the rest of the tone with me losing rock paper scissors. Best of luck, buddy. Best of luck, duelist. I'm going to opt to go second as per usual. We'll see how you get No surprise there. All right, let's see. We get. Just kidding. We'll do them now um <clears throat> notorious king carmine thank you for the 16 uh, i wish i was dead you got gifted enraged peacock thank you for the two um rd or rjd fenrir thank you for the prime ebi hara uh one thank you for the six gauge playing jund true yako p thank you for the seven uh geki chopper thank you for the 16 gb faith thank you for the 11 uh g smith 495 thank you for the prime nico bunny thank you for the four uh a j a g thank you for the four uh g baraldi one thank you for the tier one Weiss PL, thank you for the three. Uh, Blue Fury one, thank you for that the eight. Uh, Meso twenty six, thank you for the prime. Uh, I think EA likes men, thank you for the two. Uh, Suplup, thank you for the three. Uh, TTRPG Sarvis, thank you for the two hundred. Uh, Pibster Pew Pew, thank you for the fourteen. Uh, Commander Khan, thank you for the prime. Panic two G, thank you for the prime. Wrong. Alex Hall, thank you for the three. Mark SSD, thank you for the eight. Love your content, Maze Yu Gio, thank you for the uh, three. Um, Syrup God, thank you for the four. Did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe? True. Ignorant Echidna, thank you for the nineteen. Celine, thank you for the nine. I hate the orange hit so much it removes the one bit of interplay there was between flu and tear. Now it's an insane die roll matchup. I really do not agree with that at all. Yolfman, thank you for the sub. Chaotic Meatball TV, thank you for the 22. How are you? Good. Uh, Xanamora, thank you for the five. Epsilon 63, thank you for the sub. Grokus 105, thank you for the prime. Stretch Gamers, thank you for the prime. Curdle Turtle, thank you for the prime. Boro Knight, thank you for the prime. Big J Dog 25, thank you for the prime. Unknown Cap, thank you for the sub. Uh, Bench Noir, thank you for the prime. Uh, Mr. Witch Duck, thank you for the gifty. Cool Bird, thank you for the prime. Josh, Thanks for the raid. I didn't even see that. Holy shit. Uh, and now let's scroll up to the top. L Chase returns. Thank you for the seven. Gandhi uh, 19. Thank you for the 11. And Seaguard strikes. Thank you for the three. RIP Farfin friends. Getting our opening hand. Best of luck, sir. Oh, and would you look at that? Who's smiling? Nah. He's smiling. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. Haven't seen him in an episode or two. Uh, we will just go ahead and set ourselves one, two, and we'll throw back. Okay, I will draw. I'm so Stand mad. He's going to draw gonna 30 also cards. One, two. No monster in the mix, though. I will pass it to you, buddy. Never mind. I just realized why we are going to win this matchup. Uh, Alex does not have a way to get the uh, the diamond do or the uh, disc commander into the graveyard. Okay, uh, a bit of a slower start on your end. That's a problem. Standby again. So we're going to set Dekowichi and then make an eight over time. the course yep. of two tomato turns. Cool. Or we'll summon that. Take it. Yep. And that's going to be it for me. Go ahead. I'll draw. You don't sound too happy over there. Yeah, this is not a tremendous start, I will say. All right, I'll play Um, I'll play Darkhold. Do a little bit of cleanup there. All right, tomato gone. And also... Uh, shit. The disc commander. Oh, no, he's buddy. back. He's back. I hope you don't have the pre-mat in hand. I will cry. <laughs> I'll uh, set one. And I'll add uh, two more to the mix. Go ahead, your turn, bud. You know, uh, we don't need pre-mat. We have limit removal. Yeah, that, oh, that'll fucking do it. Yep. <laughs> uh, disc commander effect. We'll draw two. Yep, disc commander's fine. And it's we'll over. draw a card. Man, look at all these cards I have in my hand. Oh my goodness. Nope. Just kidding. This is only making our uh, secret barrel stronger. World is at your disposal right it now. It is. Uh, if only I could actually do something with the rest of the cards in my hand. Shit. All right, I gotta think now. I got a lot of choices I can make here. Not particularly that was great. Wrong. Uh, I'll just do this. Jolnar I'm gonna set one, and uh, that'll put me down to six cards. So I'll just pass. Okay. Uh, I'll draw. Stand by into the main. You peeking into that extra deck over there. What are you up to? <laughs> I might got some plays, man. You don't know me. Uh, right. Right. I'm going to absolutely murk you here, bro. I'm sorry. I'm taking right. you all the way to the value town. I'm going to summon Magical Scientist. He's on the scientist. I... Oh my god, this is the end of the game. We get to do like a quadrillion damage here, and then we get to burn him to death. Okay. I'm on the scientist. I'm going to opt to pay 2,000 for two scientist summons, if I, if I can. Unless you have <laughs> response. Okay. No response. That's fine. I'll go Balter. Ooh. And I'll also bring out my man, the Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. Okay. It's not bad. Oh, monster shit, he vanishes. <laughs> <laughs> a little oh bit of monster my removal. god. I'll set a card, and then Alex, I will flip Morphing Jar for five oh cards. Woo! No! <laughs> <laughs> How did he get this good? <laughs> no.
Oh uh, my god. 90 oh, 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 gauge. So that's pretty good. What are we 100 oh, oh gauge. That's a lot of dudes. Gale. That's I a lot of dudes. Oh, oh, funny. oh <laughs> nice wow. hand. Wow. Double right, fuck. Wow. Woo! Big advantage right there. I love it. All right, man. Okay. All right, I'll flip tremendous fire. I'll deal 1,000 life points to you and 500. Yes! That's <laughs> a lot of damage, bro. You better. Come on, the clock's ticking. I'll it's go. Over. Uh, I'll greed myself for two minutes. Yeah, sure. it's I mean, over. Like, the way that this deck was going, I wasn't expecting to see that. It's over. Let's say it's a little bit interesting here. Um, Let's see. Okay, well, I did get rid of your pre mat. So, I mean, it's pretty much fine that I just poke into this disc commander, I think. Okay, I'm going to go Balkase. Sure. I will go Dark Blade into uh, the disc commander. So, this is 19 that I take here. Yep, and then I'll banish three from your bin. Uh, yes. I'll get rid of the uh, this. Scientist and the Krebons. Yeah, not the disc. I wish we could get like the disc commander here. Alter can't attack directly, but it negates all effect monster effects. So I'll attack over this. How does this work with flip effects? How do you think, dumbass? Uh, it just still negates it. It's the effect of an effect monster that des destroys as a result of battles negated. So anything. Oh wait, but flip effects. Flips oh. before. What do you have? So Fiend, Fiend Skull Dragon stops flip effects specifically. I don't think Balter stops flips. So yeah, we I don't think it does. This. Oh man. So after some uh, research. So we were supposed to send. Um, that was wrong. The Balter in, right? Dark Balter does in fact negate the flip effects because oh. the effect of Balter activates <laughs> after, or rather flip effects happen after damage calc, which is when a monster has already technically been destroyed. And so because of that, even though the monster hasn't been sent to the graveyard yet, Balter's still negating it because it's still technically destroyed it. I fucking love Yu-Gi-Oh. So, I love it. Uh, yeah, I mean, Koichi, whatever. Only okay, all right. You miss out on a draw. That's okay. And then I'll do a thousand direct okay. scientists. Uh, this has got to be the end of the game. So I will go to my main phase two. I'll just add a set card to the mix, and it's over. It to you, it's ahead. literally phase, over. Buddy, oh, they things. do get destroyed. They do not stick around, but hey, man, they I don't go to your extra deck. They don't get destroyed. It's oh, over. Right. It's over. Yeah. So you get to bring them back next turn potentially. Which literally is, I, I over. This card could be good enough already. The fact <laughs> you can reuse them is even more stupid. All right, I'll draw. Stand by anything. Nope, nothing in standby. You're fine. I'll just watch this on Progressy, so I don't have to deal with ads. You could always subscribe to get rid of ads, uh, which is going to be difficult when you're banned. Oh right, my God! Come on, everyone. Jesus. <laughs> now I gotta figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do about this. You have four. Hmm. I I don't want to subscribe. I don't want to utilize any of the free mechanisms to get around ads, and then I don't want to watch it on the channel that uh, streamer gets income from. Hmm. A billion cards. To How do you think six. I'm gonna respond to I'm that? Go Come one, on now. Two, three. Four, five. Go. All wrong. right, no problem for me, but we got a game on our hands. Again, I, I understand so people who you know don't have money or don't want to subscribe. There are I'm not going to name them because it's against toss, but there are free options for you. And even if you want the ability to skip through stuff, there are channels that. Uh, you know, I, I would prefer that Vlad gets paid I off mean, this, you okay. know? I also love that our light points are exactly Jeez. high. Yeah, I guess you could say it's a close game, <laughs> right? Yeah. Looking at the cardboard state, it's I disagree. It doesn't quite look like it, but but hey, you gotta believe. Um, let's see. At here. least say Farfa and Friends. Yeah, yeah it's Farfa and Friends. I feel good that I'm aggressively doing this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna activate <laughs> Reckless Greed, Chain sure. 1. Chain Fine. 2, Jar Greed. It's what over. Fuck? You're like fucking scientist in Burn? Okay. You don't know what I'm doing, you don't know what I'm doing. You, you keep up. I'll go you Chain Link. tremendous <laughs> fire, I know you're on Burn. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go Chain Link 3, Good Goblin Housekeeping. <laughs> and then uh, Chain Link 4, Accumulated Fortune. To draw it's two over. It's literally okay. over. Uh, I uh, think I'm going to resolve my chain there, if that's okay. I don't think I have a response to this, so... Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. So we'll accumulate it up for two. Good Goblin housekeeping. I draw one. There's zero in the graveyard, so I draw one. And I gotta put one back. Great card. So the great card. Uh, and then we'll go Jar Greed for one. Reckless and Greed for Reckless two. Greed for two. Turn off the auto. <laughs> Look at all these cards in my hand, Alex. Cards, it's it's Look just at all these over. Cards. It's I just over. I was doing the card drawing with the disc commander, but clearly you had a much better plan. Yeah, yeah. I, I clearly have a little bit more. I'm gonna activate another tremendous fire. I'll do another great. thousand. It's over. Fire. Sure. Cool. Um, nice. I will set one, two, three, and four. All right. Uh, go ahead. It's a lot of cards. <laughs> That is a lot of cards. I'll draw. All right, let me count this one more time there. <laughs> um, okay. Yep, okay. It's right, so over. During your standby phase, I'll go Secret Barrel. So this will be for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that 7, so 1,400. I have no response to that. Chain Secret Barrel. That's yeah. 28. Chain, chain Strike. <laughs> Uh, you can't, because you've activated cards with the same name in the chain. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll set that then. All right. No big deal. I still got this. <laughs> I'm still um, dead anyway. Yeah, I'll, still go, I'll go Ring of Destruction on my Morphing Jar. Excellent. And, that, that'll uh, do so it. It's just in case. If you, if oh, you oh, just in case. You <laughs> can a few more cards. Uh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're literally cheating again. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Yeah, that's fine. Damn, our he only knows that because I messed it up in our match. All right. That's sad. <laughs> what the fuck? How does this work? <laughs> Sorry for getting so aggro about that chat. I, I, I know it's unprofessional and everything, but it, it is frustrating that I do have like a an official uh, channel for this kind of stuff. And everyone's all like, like, I get being mad about ads and everything, but it's it's frustrating to see someone be like, I'm going to go out of my way to ensure you get nothing from this. Uh, that sucks. <clears throat> Are you I don't want to bring what? down like, the mood. I get burnt. I get chained. I've played that before. I understand. Why do you have scientists in this deck? That's I, they can't understand. They don't get it. 
These people, they don't get the power of the scientist. They don't understand. We, in this channel, we hashtag believe science. In this channel, we trust Dr. Fauci. Wait, I, I'm like, you, I don't think I know what you're actually wrong. playing at this point. Maybe I had scientists in the deck just to deal with that exact scenario. What's the official channel? Down. MBTV? Uh, here, I'll, I'll actually just link it. So it's the MBT VODs channel, at MBT VODs, right here. Or uh, usually those go up a couple of days later. Uh, but if you just want to get it immediately, uh, right after the stream ends, it's at Farfa and Friends, which is this one right here. Bounce that monster and I summon both. Yeah, Progressives is just, just some random guy. guy. I guess. <laughs> I'm so maybe I should have had my scientists to deny your morphing jar, which, funny enough, I could have done if I thought you had morphing jar set. But I'm going to go second. I prefer to not let you have one extra card to burn me to death. So let's That's all right, man. I'll definitely take it. Best of luck to us. I'll set one, and I will proceed to set the fort, my friend. Jesus Christ, if you have Morphing Jar, that's so bad. Right. It's, it's, it could be literally uh, anything. Alright, so we've lost this game because there's a fucking Death Wombat in the hand. Been pretty good. Okay, so that's Jar. I'm in a lot of trouble. If it's not, what what the fuck else did I see out of the first game? Scientist. A scientist? <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. I guess that's technically true. I think I gotta do this. Oh, the snipe. Give me just a second, Duelist. Yeah, what do you got? I've got nothing for the snipe, Hunter. Can I try for the effect? You okay, so here's the deal with snipe. Snipe's a good card if you suspect the card is Morphing Jar. The card is Morphing Jar. Absolutely, Snipe is the right pick. If it is Sangan, we have just gotten blown out because not only have we wasted a card on Sangan, we also don't have access to Wombat anymore. You can pitch for cost for it, yeah. Okay, is it going to resolve? It is going to resolve. What do you want to target? You're set. Okay, go ahead. Come on. Okay, thank God. Okay, all right. It is. Wow, that would have been huge. It is Holy the. Holy. <laughs> That's rough. Hey, shit, thank you. 15. I'll take it, yep. Okay, I'll set one, throw it back. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. I will just pass. Go ahead. Like that. Draw. Anything standby. Nothing standby. You're fine. Main one. All right. Let's try to start playing against this. Guess Wombat. That's going to do That's going to... Uh, I'm going to chain something. Hold on. I'm going to chain right. Torrential Trivia. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a that's a good that's Torrential. Does it. Good, good Torrential. Okay. I had them in the side last episode, and I didn't even need them. I guess technically you were on Stealth Burn. And I'm like, if he runs this back deck again, runs this deck back... I said that completely backwards. Then I, I don't want to even deal with this. I'm happy I have these little guys, but when you Torrential me, it's not very good. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand by main. Pass. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, luckily for me, I have a second one. Yeah, you got another one. Okay. 16. Yep. Go ahead. Draw. Stand by main. Scientist. Sure. This is the out. Your this is one. why we have scientists, by the way. This is exactly why we're playing this. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> I'm going to activate oh, Magical Scientist. I'm going to pay a Very thousand. good. Very sure. good. I'm going to summon Ryu Senshi. Very okay. good. Uh, I'll go battle phase two with Ryu Senshi. Does out the Wombat. This is hilarious. I'll take four. And then you'll take another three direct from the scientist. Take another three. Okay. Uh, I'll go main two. We're I'll getting there. One. I'll set another. And then I'll go to the We're getting there. Senshi. Goes back to the extra. Deck. Oh, my bad. You're right. Yes. Son of a no, no, bitch. Okay. Uh, pot agreed. Yep. Thinking so that helps actually. out here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I have to deal with scientist. I can't deal with scientist. Uh, getting the, the, nice uh, uh, getting scientist the commander into rotation is really bad, but we're now in a position where, like, if we set the disc commander and he goes for Balter, doesn't Balter turn it off permanently? It's like Hades. So that's, you know, I'll take it. And I got set five. Your back row is most likely just a bunch of shit to draw you cards and, like, accumulated fortune and shit. What do we do? I think I just need to be aggressive, so I'm going to go tomato. Okay, sure. here we Try go. Try to clear the scientist. Sure, we can clear. I'll have to kill him. Oh, we don't have protection. Okay. Uh, we're Come getting on. you low. Slowly but surely. Uh, I will pass my turn. Draw. Stay in my main. Yep. Doesn't feel good, but I, I got to start getting cards here, I think. Yeah, okay. fire those recklesses. Yeah, I'll start with Good Hob and Cowskeeping. So chain bad. link one. I know, it's, it's, it's not great at all. Um, I'll go chain link two, secret barrel. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be 12. That's fine. I'll go chain link three, ceasefire. Okay. Chain link four, accumulated fortune, and then five, chain strike. Sure. So that's good. That resolves. That's good. So chain link five. I'll take two thousand from the chain strike because it's chain level is five or chain value. You draw two from fortune. I take five from the ceasefire. Yeah. I take good. twelve from secret barrel. I mean, we're getting there. You draw one and put one back for house. <coughs> yep. Okay. Cool. We good. Everything goes. Three good ones. Nice. Yeah, Thirty-six. Be three good ones. Happy amount, but it's not, not enough to close up the game. I'll set one and I'll set one and I'll just pass. Go ahead, buddy. This man still has nothing. If that's fucking fiber jar, we win. Monsters. I'll draw. So the play here is to pre-mat targeting the snipe hunter. Stand by. Nope, you're good. What the fuck else are you setting in this deck? I saw the same two monsters I saw. <laughs> let's, let's see if he figures it out. They've been putting in work? <laughs> he probably has the read on Sangan. <laughs> they, they have been. been. They have been. Torrential's gone, so I don't have to worry about that. If it's, if it's Fiber, he probably has the read on Sangan. Only one set? What's like the most damage you could do off of one set? If it's like a secret barrel, that's what, seven times two, 1,400? Yeah. I don't think there's anything that's going to do more than that at the moment. If you're on this deck... The problem is pre-mat for um, Snipe Hunter is just such a value option right now. Just because, like, it gets the disc commander into the grave, we can immediately limit reverse it because we have one set. It's not unrealistic. Like, like he has to... If, if he has the read on exactly Sangam, that's the scenario in which this pays off. To think that you have, like, a desk koala set, that could possibly burn me for a shit ton. So I have to take that into consideration. Could just be, like, a Sangam to search jar or scientist. Same thing with witch. I don't think you'd be on stealth bird in this deck. You don't have any ways to protect he, it's it. It's not part of his calculation. Fuck. Ooh. 
Um, sure. Snipe effects. Snipe effects fine, yep. Go after the monster. We just got yep. it. Why would we not? Oh, because we'll do it afterwards. Oh, don't yes. do this to me. Don't fucking yes, do this Yes, oh me. man. The first okay, miss in the okay. series. All right, cool. You gotta go again? Okay, here we go. Again. Yep, that's fine. Monster. Yep. Oh, thank God. Okay. We'll never run out of material. Tomato. Tomato. It was okay. tomato. Yeah, tomato uh, okay. I'll just go after the back row, too, while I'm at it. Yep. Here are the smashing grounds. <laughs> wow. Lordy, oh, Lordy. Sniper, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'll do it again. Sure. That's fine. That's fine. We're just dead here, I mean. Unbelievable! It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have this game on board. Okay, it's it's right, fucking yeah. secret barrel. Secret barrel, okay. Alright, All right. We game close. three. Take it to game three. We that would totally matter. <laughs> Alright, well that was a close one through double death wombat, so we could do it. Couldn't quite get enough damage to clean that one out. But I'm confident game three, Alex. Don't worry. This chamber deck, good. I can tell you're not ready for it, man. You've been sweating this entire match. I have I have Wombat, and I don't feel like I'm prepared for this, which is awful. But your scientist's been coming in clutch. So let's see what you're going to do. Yes, I'm going to opt to go second again. I'll take my additional card. Makes sense to me. I guess it gives me a little bit of time to set up, if that matters. Good luck, Ballista. Don't know if that's going to be the case. All right. Thank you, sir. Best of luck to you as well. I'm going to go set one and pass. Draw. Very Stand basic move. Pretty basic. I'll rev it up a little bit with some greed. I did not need to see that. My man. Why greedy guy. Uh, I will go summon Mystic Tomato. God. Also, by the way, Disc Commander, three fucking sure. games in a row. Yep. We just Poking get Snipe face. Hunter here and get Sangin. fucking Sangin can blasted. Get something. What? It's always know. Snipe here. Six cards in hand that I still have to contend Always with. Snipe here. Not ideal. I think Snipe's just the cleanest yeah. out. Yep, all right. Go for it. Get sniping. I'll go main two. I will set one, two, three, and four. God fucking damn it. So the downside for Simo is that this still might not be it's very good. A lot. I'll draw. Stand by anything. Nope, you're good. Main one. Still two in hand, courtesy of that pot of greed. You might course. normal the wombat before dusting. Um, all right. Okay, so the, they might all be chained. Chain. Doesn't feel great, but two jar. jar. Don't have to worry about it then. Three good goblin, four accumulated, five strike. All right. So See, I, I feel like normally wombat would have been good there. I, I guess you always want a normal snipe out of this turn anyway. I take 2,000, you okay. draw two, then you take <laughs> one, put one back, and then you draw again. Yeah. Okay, so. cool. All right, I'm glad I get snipe hunting. Used my to take 2,000 damage and be at the exact same place we were. <laughs> yep, yep. Could, could have, could I, have I, been I much worse for us. Ring and shit, so like, I gotta like try to get rid of that stuff. So we'll go snipe. Yep. Uh, get rid of disc commander. Yep. All right, okay. That was a clutch. That was a clutch hit on snipe. Clutch. You drop gores. I'm gonna cry. 15's fine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I know you have it anyway. I'll set one pass. Go ahead. Draw. Stand by main. If you summon scientist, I swear to fucking God. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me, man. He's, he's the scientist. He's crazy. Yeah. yeah he's I'll nuts. be the scientist for a thousand. Sure. It's like Senshi. Really that great, right? It's so always go, um, Senshi here. This dude. Sure. Battle phase, poking over the snipe hunter. Why would we not go Senshi here? Fuck! Dude. Come on! Oh, my God. oh man, are you had... Damn! Oh, wow. I wanted to get the fucking Senshi too, but I was like, I need to banish this disc commander. Oh, my God. That's tough. That's tough. I deserve that one. All right, I'll go main two. In all fairness, you haven't seen Sack out of me the whole match. Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect you to keep it in either. I, I would not expect you to keep Sack in. <laughs> wow. All right, uh, one, I two. If you wanted to banish so badly, yeah, summon you, both. Yeah, you'd be trading a thousand. Well, you'd be trading two thousand there. Yeah, you gotta put the deal up there. Know. Go ahead, buddy. Draw. Anything in standby. No, you're good. So now these are all like real back row, unfortunately. Yes. They could just be more shit that you just draw stuff, which is also fine. You have wow. torrential. It clears. We're really gonna lose off that. The world. In, in his defense, like it doesn't make sense for Alex to keep Sack in. After um after this like uh, the only attacker you have is scientist right so it doesn't make sense for Alex to keep sack in and if he does keep sack in because he doesn't have enough to board out it doesn't make sense why he would not just pitch it for snipe did he pitch the disc commander yeah it's like it, it's a read that would be really hard to make Ding, that's annoying that's Alex fine. saw tomatoes who cares <laughs> we're we're, we're sitting on tomatoes we're never attacking so uh, normal card trooper I'll torrential here yeah, oh, like, that is a really good torrential, but it also means we have no answer for the uh, for the Death Wombat. Hey, sir, the scientist is gone. Oh, you're right. My bad. Okay, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, my fucking my, one-sided torrential. My, my, ass, my right? bad, Dolist. All right. Um, do you I have will... like a, a chain that you want to start with? Yes, the card I, I do want to start a chain with the card trooper. I'll chain two secret barrel, three reckless greed, and then four accumulated. Okay, that's good. So it's really good. Draw two. So the oh, thing here is, we're also just like way ahead on cards. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you draw two. You draw two more, and then you secret barrel me for four hundred. Yeah, like nothing. But if it's all right, I get to resolve all this. You more cards, which is what's more important. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to draw four cards. And then I draw off the trooper. Yep. My one measly card. All right. Hmm. So you get all those gone. You're back to five in hand, drawing to six next turn. I've got a back row. Go ahead. All right. I will draw. No, not draw. You don't draw because you're that's, that's yeah, turn one. Actually. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll set. I'll mark that in the chat. Turn okay. one. One, two. I'll summon New Doria. And I'll just try to That's a good one. Run to a second sack of red that you for some reason kept in this matchup. I'll take the. <laughs> He's okay. like pissed about it too. He's like, uh, why would you play this? I'm not happy about it. I'll draw. Normal Prometheus. <gasps> Fucking lore, yeah, Prometheus dude. Activate the effect. Sure. I will banish a lone Sangin. That's fine. So it goes up to 16. Till the end of the turn. Okay. We'll attack. Yep. And then I'll pop it with Eudoria. Fine. 
Uh, sure. Second main While we are running out of outs to Death going. Wombat. All right, during the end phase, I'm going to flip up another copy of Reckless Greed before we get another counter on it. I see. Yeah, and that makes then, sense. Just to get one more phase yeah. out of it, sure. Okay, so I'll draw two. Okay. And then still in the end phase, I'm going to actually <laughs> good Goblin Housekeeping. So I get to draw. You actually have a copy. I, I, get, I get the plus. Really so good stuff. One, really two, good stuff. Put one back. Wait, you know plus, you go even. I do go even. Thank God, finally. And then I'll put uh, this one back to the bottom, okay? That's fine. GGH is so bad. One counter for Reckless Greed. Correct, yeah. So now it's a new Reckless cycle, so I'll just put a one in chat again. Just Okay, cool. I will set one, and I'll just I'll set everything. Non-stop waves uh, of cards here, man. Oh, it's the fucking jar again. So here's here's the problem, is that Morphing Jar's not very oh, good here, because Simo's out of cards, too. Uh, anything in standby. Nothing in standby. Uh, that's annoying. Okay, anyone. So I know that's jar. There's like there's like no chance it's not jar. Uh, I guess there, there is a chance it's not. But you also... If it's if it's jar, you have a really easy punish, which is true nade, and then attack the jar. I kept two cards in hand last time. It didn't do anything with them. So I'm assuming that one of them was the jar. Now, if it's one, get fiber. First, then set the whole hand, then get the jar value. Especially knowing you're under Reckless, too. You can't draw anyway. This is tough, Gage. This is really tough. You don't have the immediate out, which I mean is, is kind of exciting for me. I know I know it's struggling for you here. I've got options. It's just I don't know what's right. There's too much information that's not available. You've only got one accumulated left. You've got one Reckless left, a couple secret barrels. You also put back a card with Housekeeping. That could have been the other monster in your hand when you had two cards in hand last turn. Just so you could set your whole hand. True Nate. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I bet you it. are. I'll chain Poison of the Old Man, and I will... Which effect? I'll burn you for eight. Anything else? Nothing else. This resolves. Sure. So I'll take eight. Wow, that's miserable. That is Wombat. really miserable. Yep. Uh, before I do this, I'm going to set my hand. Attack. Alex, you had the right call that... Oh my god, please. It was a jar. Please! What time? But you didn't consider which jar it could be. <laughs> this is the first time you're flipping up in the progression series history. Off. It's not fire! Yes! Oh, it's all going back, no. baby! It's all going back! Everything on the hand field and graveyard, and we both draw five. That's, that's gotta be fine, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my all right. God. All right. Okay. Our We're back in this. Now, it's, unfortunately, I, I we still have. If it was morphing jar, we still have one turn off. Fortunately, it's not much God, I wish do. you had more damage to do. Draw them back. Let's hope your fresh hand of five can uh, get you out of the situation, bro. I'm getting five good new ones, too. I was about to say, okay. it's not looking great. 3,600. We just need Man, you think each card like to do, like, 800 <laughs> damage. You would think so, right? <laughs> In solo mode, there's, like, the reset button. That would just, they just have to integrate that. Now, uh, funny enough, my Sangan doesn't go back because it's not banished cards. Correct. Oh, it's, yeah, it's not. All right. <laughs> All right. So I, my deck is one card thinner. All right, let's I do it. The top. And I will as well. I forgot you fucking have this thing. All right. <laughs> Second main. I How does he Mr. keep Wombat. doing this? So I'm just going to throw down two and over to you. All right, I will not drop. That's my second turn on Reckless. Second on Reckless, yep. Yep. One, two, three, four. Go ahead, buddy. Anything that's been entertaining. Uh, we'll the happy five, 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 five. Five. Oh, Fucking normal Wombat Heavy Dust. I, I'm so mad! Okay. Um, the hell do I do now? You've got... I, I do have cards, yeah. Great observation. I got, I got a few of those. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> mad. This is really, really tough. Kill him in standby! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think he can. It has been. Yeah, it has been. Uh, judging by the way our decks looked at the beginning of this, I don't think people thought that was probably <laughs> going to be the case. Mm, I hate this. I really fucking hate this. Wombat. Yeah, Wombat's fine. Duster. Okay. Um, chain Link 2. Poison. I'll gain 12. 3 Secret Barrel for no damage. Uh, and then, Just so you can get to the accumulated. Yeah, 4 and then 5 accumulated. Yes, yeah, so this oh. does work because this counts as oh. this is the first time the chain is seeing accumulated. So this does yep. work. Uh, just for anyone who is curious why this works okay. now. Okay, so we, we missed out on a secret barrel here, here but otherwise it's not bad. It's we not missed bad. out on like uh, is 2,000 okay, so damage. Four cards. Double fucking accumulated, that's huge. Okay, um, secret barrel will burn you for zero damage and I will gain 1,200 life points. See, this is now you can see why I was thinking so hard about this okay. because I was weighing if I duster before summoning Wombat, uh, like what happens. Well, how do we out Wombat? wombat first, we actually don't really, really have an out for it. You kill the Wombat with like a torrential. <laughs> so it like really the only out's attack, I right? I, fortunately, it didn't like ruin me, but we'll see. This is gone. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. You're good. Uh, 16. Yep, I'm going to take it. Yeah, it looks like we... The, uh, here, scientist so would still for, do it. Uh, you. Uh, that's all I got. Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand by me. You got a whole grip. You're no longer under Reckless. Not yeah. good. I got a gang of cards here. I'll start with the way to clear Wombat. Dark Pool. That'll do it. I will summon Witch of the Black Forest. Sure. Battle phase. Yes. 11. I think I have to sack this. Can't really yep. afford it. Yep, And I will get my search that's off of the That's such a witch. fucking of terrible sack. I'll pick up a copy of Morphing Jar. Fuck. Great. I'm that's really <laughs> right, right, right. Exciting. Uh, I'll set one, two, three. Go ahead. Draw. Anything in standby? Mm -hmm. No, you're good. Okay, so I know you have jar. It's annoying, but there is isn't. These are card. these I are whack cards this. from Alex. Uh, we will go tomato. Sure. Try for 14. Yeah, I'll take it. Over to you. Okay. Draw. Stand by me. Yeah. All right, I'll set, and I'll pass. Presumably, that's the jar. It's not the jar. He would never He would never do that. It's fiber jar reset. It's just not, not correct. Uh, as funny as it would be. Anything in standby? No, you're good. I really don't want to give you more cards, but I don't really... Oh, my God. This is so... This is so... <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I got tingles. Normal black salvo. That card is sick. I really so think we can use Salvo here to go into so Black Rose. All right. So on the summit of Black Salvo, I'll go Ceasefire. <laughs> that's a thousand. It's fifteen. If I flip this up. Oh, if you flip, that's true. We count yours as well. Uh, chain Secret Barrel. That is another thousand because I have five. And then Chain Link Three Strike. So that is twelve. So that's thirty-seven. Thirty. <gasps> no, oh no, because of the Ceasefire is an extra five. 
Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> the fool! Is that it? Oh, what? Let me see what this is. It was a, it was a limit reverse, which I oh, had just made again. Oh, gauge. Yep, yep. That was, a, that was actually so a nail biter, bro. Like, like, unironically, that so was really close. Here's here's what I was thinking. You've uh, been so my plan fooled! Was, I was gonna sink these 